And the fact, just like the state of Israel is not something for granted, your friendship and your activity around the world is not something for granted. And it's something that if we would look back, if somebody would tell us a hundred years ago that there would be uh, a Jewish state who couldn't believe it, and somebody would tell us there would be millions of Christians around the world supporting Jews to have their sovereign state, we wouldn't believe it. And therefore, these are things that we should never take it for granted. Today, we're also here celebrating really, really some of the great successes of the people here. I mean, just, just an example of Joe Sabag, who's sitting here, who is the uh, deputy director of the Israeli Al Alliances Foundation, who I can say is definitely has personal uh, blame for the fact that so many uh, anti-BDS legislations in 13 different states in the United States, and he really, he really did a great job for that, and he really does, does deserve an applause. So he, can, he, he gets it at least. And, 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 and I really think that, that's a wonderful example, because sometimes the activity that you, you people are doing can really bring despair. You get so much Sisyphical work and so many, so many different things, but so wonderful things that are happening here. I see my friends here from the Hayovel Project who are bringing volunteers, and these volunteers become ambassadors. And, and, and every one of these things is another initiative, but when you're sitting around the table and you see so many things that are happening, and it's all of your initiative, it really fills my heart, even though I really you know, I get the feeling that you have a personal interest because God said that those who bless the people of Israel will get blessed. So it's, it really, I know you're actually working from personal uh, uh, in, in interest, but, but we'll, we, we, we accept it also. As long as your ego, egoism that is, 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 is directed the right way, it's fine. So really, I, I think the only thing that we can have to say is that uh, thank you so much. And your friendship is so meaningful for us. Your friendship is so, so meaningful for us, which I, I don't even have a way to ex express it. And I, and, and I think that uh, uh, find our offices open to your, uh, any, any way we can be of, uh, of any back spirit, of any back uh, wind to, to, to help you out in what you're, the great things that you're doing, because the, the, the activity is, is really so, so, so great. But please, don't, don't lose hope, because there really is so much great things. And, the, and, and I'm just going to conclude saying that the terror from, which happens in Tel Aviv is the same terror which happens in Paris. And by the way, just, I don't know if you know, just a, a data, in the past 70 years, the, Islam, the, the greatest victims of the Islamic terror are 11 million Muslims. We're speaking this whole week about the, the terror in Germany, but just a day ago, 80 people were killed in Kabul and Afghanistan, and every single day we have people getting killed in Syria and Libya and Yemen, and, just, and, 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 and these are... So the greatest victims of, of, the, of, of the Islamic terror are, are the Muslims, and therefore we have to go strengthen... Muslim moderate leaders, and there are they there? And I, if you ask me, I'm sure that the majority. We have to strengthen them and their voice, and we have to tell, say, say it clear, clear, loud, loud and clear. And one last point, which I'm sure you all you all know that I, I've been involved for many years, and and that's the the story of the, the lie of the Temple Mount, the Temple Mount, which should be a house of prayer for all nations, is if there, people are trying to use it to incite terror and incite hate. And here we have a place which is a potential for peace, and as it was said before, those who deny any Jewish relation to the Temple Mount deny the very existence of Christianity, because Christianity began there. And if, and, and if, you, and, and if you don't believe in, in any Jewish roots of the, of the, of the, of the temple, then, of temple Mount, then you don't believe in, in, the, in the Bible. And we know that millions and millions of people around the world who are trusty in the, in the Bible. And therefore, once again, thank you so much. And believe me, this is the only place in the world where you can open your eyes and open the book and see it's happening. And it's happening because of you. Thank you so much. God bless you.